familiar with any of the old computer games like um, from the early 90s, like things you needed like a DOS prompt for, you know, the old C colon backslash. Um, before Windows 95 even came out, back in 93, um, uh, Infocom, which was an Activision company, uh, actually made a game called Return to Zork. And this was the first um, game that didn't require you to type in, like, you know, go north by northwest. It actually had a um, uh, point and click map adventure system, one of the uh, first of its kind. And it actually came with uh, an encyclopedia you might need. Um, it's like one of those, you know, where in time is Carmen San Diego games that actually came with the game and uh, the book and uh, actually came with the uh, encyclopedia in the box. So bust it out because you're probably going to need it. Uh, this game came on CD, the one I have, or um, <laughs> actually back in the day it had uh, 12 floppy disks and uh, that's a lot. The CD version is better because it had uh, better music on it. Uh, if you had the floppy disk version or the uh, the Macintosh version, it would have um, just the MIDI tunes. Uh, so the CD has uh, some better audio. You could actually pop this uh, game disc in like your car and listen to the soundtrack uh, if you want to. Um, it's really hard getting this to run nowadays. Um, Windows 7 and all that. Um, actually, there's a, a, a version you can download off of Good Old Games or GOG.com, and uh, I think it's only like five or six dollars. Uh, it's relatively cheap if you want to pick it up for yourself. Turn to Zork. Let's uh, pop this in and uh, play this sucker. Hey! Hey! I've been talking a long time. I sense movement. I need a new battery. Can you hear me? A new battery! You start out this game, you have little to no explanation of what happened. All you know is you want to sweep stakes, and here you are at the Valley of the Vultures. This used to be called the Valley of the Sparrows. It's had a name change recently. So you can see the population dropped. Um, you also notice there's this little bonding plant, and unfortunately, you don't know. You can go through the whole game not knowing about it, but you actually need that later in the game. Um, so first of all, we have to get rid of this vulture. And if you notice, uh, there's a rock over here. So you're gonna be using a lot of things in the environment to help you out. And right now, you have. Not too much, you have some matches, a knife, your basic essentials. <laughs> um, but I'm going to take this rock and I'm going to chuck it. And he's going to fly away. So now we're free to come over here and take this. Uh, you have several different options here, but uh, if you pull it or cut it, it's going to die. And you don't want it to die, so what we're going to do is dig it up. I think it likes you. Hmm. Who are you? What's the password? I can't let you in without the password. And don't try so at fish. I know it's not that. I tried it myself. I couldn't get in. So I know it's not that. Well, we haven't had any visitors here since, oh, I don't know how long. You must be another one of Rupert's sweepstakes winners, huh? Okay, what's the password? Did you say the password? I can't remember. I can't let you in without the password, so you must have already said it, huh? So now, you can't go to the roads to the south, so your only option is to come back here behind the lighthouse and build a raft. Try to cut some vines, tie them on the planks, and boom! So you come over here over the schoolhouse and you're going to meet Miss Peepers and she's immediately going to give you a pop quiz. Uh -huh. 
But, um, I guess it's better time to tell you, um, if you kill anyone in this game, some guy's gonna come down and, uh, pretty much yell at you and take away all your stuff. We seem to be working at cross purposes. I must relieve you of your belongings until you learn. Alright, you're at West Shanbar. Um, here you're going to meet two people. Um, you come over to the left and meet the mayor. And uh, in his office, you're going to find a filing cabinet. Uh, you can open it up for some uh, tips and tricks. Um, the thing you will need to know is toasting. Because we're about to uh, get drunk. Uh. Who are you? Don't matter. Want some rye? Of course you do. Here's to us. Want some rye? Of course you do. Who's like us? Want some rye? Of course you do. Damn few. Want some rye? Of course you do. My my keys? Oh, oh. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm too dry to drunk. <laughs> oh, would you pick up a six-pack while you're out? I'd be much obliged. <laughs> and they're all dead. The poor guy just keels over. You end up taking his flask because you're going to need that later. Um, go to the left though. You will find a key to the gift shop. You can't actually drive his car, but you can start the water wheel in the back. Want some rye? Of course you do. You'll find him sitting over here now, but you can actually go down. But we're gonna come back here first. And in the back by his car, you grab the single key that's gonna open up this gift shop. And the register you find some coins and some tickets to Dizzy World. Before you leave, go up and grab this battery. That's all you can do in there. Come down here. Oh! You scared me. You find this creepy guy under the bridge, and what we're gonna do is talk to him. I mean, uh, get the tickets to Dizzy World and give them to him. Wow. I told myself if anyone was ever nice to me, I'd give them this. My father gave that to me before I escaped. He said it was good luck. I want you to have it. So 
So the gift you get from Weef is the first piece of the Disc of Illusion, um, which you'll need to get all the pieces uh, to beat the game at the end. Um, but you've done all you can here, so we're gonna go back to Boo's house. And Welcome, Ra! Of course you do. And go downstairs. If you come by the ruins, you're gonna find some tiles and a frame. And what you wanna do is take the tiles and put them in the frame. And now you have a puzzle. After you finish the puzzle, you'll find the disc piece and some more, some uh, aluminite rocks, which the lighthouse keeper needs, but you can't get back to yet. Hey, you know, that reminds me of this knot called the cow hitch. Okay, it's left and right. Under, through, around, again, and back, I think. Okay, yeah, that's it. Good and strong. Go away! I haven't got anything for you! I've only got one milk cow, and she only eats carrots! So just go away! Ah, that's alright. Just take what you need and go away. And you can take that ludicrous box out there too. I didn't order it, and I didn't want it. The missus didn't order it, and she doesn't want it. And the cow don't need it either. So just go. So, he's going to give you permission to take his bra box, which you need to then come over here, back to town, and I'm going to save my game because I always mess this up. You take the second, uh, the first lever, take the bra box and chuck it in. And then open up this one, and you have a hot wire which you have to pour water on to cool down. Then grab this, and then somehow this piece of wire becomes the key to open the general store. Who knew? Who knew, who would know how to do that? Mudok's going to tell you to play Survivor, and he's going to teach you the rules, which you're going to need later on. Um, so he's going to give you a coin to ride the boat later, and a sword. But the sword is pretty rusty, needs some work. So we're going to go take it to the blacksmith. Hmm. Come back later. Got a pounding headache? Try new Whamoprin. That's right, just one of these will stop that pounding headache. Uh, I don't feel a thing. Whamoprin. Give it a whack. <laughs> Let me dream along with you. That's pretty scary. I have to see others see. Feel what others feel. I am more feel. So if you come back to the back blacksmith later, um, dark man. you end up giving him two coins for your sword. But if you inspect the sword, it's just a shiny sword. It's not the one that you brought in. 
you'll probably never even notice. Um, but you're gonna go back to him and show it to him. And be angry about it. That's your sword? It's just so dirty when you brought it in here, you just don't recognize it. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll look around. <sighs> here it is. I made a mistake, okay? I said I was sorry. So now you got the uh, proper bejeweled Norman sword. Huh? Hold it right there. I got a few questions to ask you. I'm warning you. See if you can figure this out. Sand day, mud day, gruz day, G-R-U-E-S, wands day, birthday, one word. The other ones have a space. I don't know why, it's not consistent. Then you have Frob Day, F-R-O-B, and Star Day. Um, got them here if you need them. Might need that information later. Um, but yeah. Okay. You're all right. The next time, try to use the door, and you don't need to steal anything. I know you're on our side, so I'll let you take whatever you need. You gotta milk the cow, but first bring the hay and warm your hands. Because that's the right way to treat a lady. So the fairy is uh, from, actually from Twin Peaks, uh, Robin Lively, and uh, she played uh, Lana Milford um, later on in the season, so that was pretty cool. I know you're out there. You big... Oh. So in, in Zorkland, oh. milk apparently cures blindness, so... I may be blind, but I can hear you. I'm a fairy! Stand still and fight! <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you use a fly swatter? You big ox! Which one do is take the thermos and give it to him. Oh, I, I, I'm so sorry. Tour? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So, Mr. Ben over here, when he's not making rice, he's in love with witches. Um, what you're gonna do is give him some coins and rent the boat. Appreciate it. Why he makes you pay to go visit her is beyond me because you're doing him the favor, but regardless. Um, take the rats out of the box and drop them in the motor. You got yourself a little engine. Get out of here! I only use fresh ingredients in my potion. So you take which items back, he just released them here, and they're gonna tell you where to go. And Follow their trail of guano. Guano. They have guano.
ferryman comes, um, take the coin and show it to him. Don't give it to him. After the boat ride, you're going to turn around and find Canuck Shack. Probably the weirdest guy in the game, um, so make sure you're safe. Um, you'll notice his knocker is, uh, you know, no one's going to answer. No one's going to answer that. Um, what we're going to do is take this and pry it off. And it's actually a magnet. Save that for a second. Um, for some reason, you could actually go through the keyhole somehow. I don't, I'm not sure how that works, but in here you're you're gonna find a duck. Whack whack. Um, whack and the whack. Scroll, you read it to him. Oh, thank you. I've been waiting a long time for that. I was getting tired of eating bugs and fish. I found some really juicy grubs down by the rushes. I know there's a piece of the disc in that bottle. I put it there myself. I can't get it, I'm too old. But I can shrink you so you can go inside and get it. Yes! Go ahead. The spell will only last 20 minutes. So he shrinks you and you're going to go inside this boat and what you're going to do uh, first is look up. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. <laughs> um, you're going to see upside down it's 9427. So go in here, take the brag, go into the safe. Also find a rusty metal thing. Which you have to take the rag and make it shine. Hold this in. Hold this in your hands because you're gonna need it when you come out. Oh, Yazoba! If you're not holding that or the mirror you got from Rebecca's house. He's going to turn you into a duck, whack. so you don't want that. The cool part about this part of the game is if you've done everything up to this point, what you could do is hold the magnet while blowing the whistle. Where's the whistle? There it is. The magnet will grab onto the vulture somehow, and now your map is unlocked so you can go anywhere you want. There you are. You want to hear something? The vultures are good for just one thing and one thing only. They're talons. When you find one, grab it. They're like boomerangs. We're going to ask her again about the book. Oh, it's in magic script. Probably from that senile old wizard, Frobod. I can't read that script. Alright, she's annoying. What you actually have to do is go back to West Shanbar. Go to Mrs. Peepers and ask her, and she's like... Oh, that is written in the literary tongue. Rebecca Snoot might be a good one to translate the old language. She picks up languages in a snap. Uh, how many computer programmers does it take to screw in a light bulb? That's a hardware problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the lighthouse now that we can teleport. What's that? That, that glowing thing. He's gonna want some Illuminate. 
Ah. Thank you. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this. Those other Frobozos Rupert suckered in never came back. Um, the only thing you could do with him now is show him your disc pieces and lo and you behold. Got that. Look, look! I've got a piece too! Here, you should take that across the river to the holy woman at Belnir Temple. I studied up, I can translate it now. Why do flatheads write TGIF on their shoes? Toes go in first. Now you have enough jokes. Remember in the beginning I told you you needed the bonding plant? Okay. This is why. So if it's dead, go or ahead. Make me uh, wilting, it's not going to let you through. So if it's healthy, it's alive. Let's go. I never expected to have a winner. I'd like you to have this. I gave my son the other one for good luck. A cow hitch that you learned from Ben. Once the rope's on there, take the talon and tie the talon on. And like a boomerang, you got a stable cow hitched double rope bridge. Give her your sword and she will bless it. You have the true sword. Let me bless it. You must be one of us. Gerald, Get your pens we've and got paper. the bearer of the Dwarven Sword of Zork. Good. We need all the help we can get. How much of Luminite do we have left? Right now we have enough. Now let me get this straight. Right now, we've got plenty of Luminite. Yes, sir. It's stockpiled to the left of the armory. Where? Right over there. Where? I don't see it. I got my glasses. Keep those lines straight! It's right over there. It's covered. Oh, on the left, the left, right. Keep those lines straight. This part's strange. This is how you're gonna forge the disc, so you could drop it in the trencher. And here's where you st need to start putting like a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, who gets that? He gets the box. Uh, he gets the shield. Ah, uh, you have to go back and get the town. Let's go back to the big tree and take your rope back. Actually, you have to take off your helmet and put it on him, and then press the green button. If you look over here, you'll see LUD. To keep that in mind. When you are striking these guards left.
It's the guy from Wonder Years. Invader! So, you made it this far. You may have killed my brother trolls, but you won't kill me. I don't know what powers you possess. Threaten him the whole time. But you're no match for me. You'll never get out of here alive. Wait, wait. No, no. Spare me. I'll give you this necklace. It has magical powers. Magical powers. Just don't hurt me. Good morning, buttface. Good morning, sir. I spent all last night working on these for your approval, sir. They stink. Do them over again. All right, now that you're the scariest person alive, you head to the forest one last time. So you smack the head with your bow and arrow, go in, and you're gonna find a guard, or an orc. Take the potion you made. It's gonna make you invisible, but he's still gonna be able to smell you, so... To finally scare him away, what you have to do... ...is play the tape recorder of Rebecca's dog. Invisible hell down will scare him away. For some stupid reason this part, you have to take everything you own and chuck it at the bridge. Welcome to my gallery. Perhaps you know some of my collection. This is my research laboratory. And these are my subjects. I have studied them all and have taken the best from each. From you, I will take strategy. We will play survivor. You may play the wizard Trimbile's role. I will play Canuck. Your move. Now the only strategy that Mudok didn't know is that you could actually pass, um, which he didn't know about. So you're playing the wizard now, which is essentially harder. Um, you start at A1. Uh, I'm just going to follow the walkthrough here, just for the easiest way to do it. Um, you're going to move to C2. Hmm. Hmm. If he blocks you, just go down here and pass. Uh, move to B4. A2. <laughs> C1 Not very smart And C1 uh, D3 Do you forfeit? B2 Very interesting A4 Uh oh C3. <clears throat> I think your time is up. B1. 
I missed that. Hmm. A three. Ah, oh, you're annoying. I have you cornered. D two. Do you forfeit? E three. <laughs> And finally, once you move, D4, and You cheated. Blast! I never lose! I never lose! I Master Strategist. You have to teach me the finer points of Survivor. <laughs> all in all, from the early 90s, I think this game has great production value. Um, I enjoyed a lot of the story and the humor, and the characters and the, like, the videos are really well done for its time. Also seeing a couple of like the actors. Um, the only thing I really don't like about it is, like I said, the couple of the puzzles like, are really vague, really hard to figure out, so you'll never really know like how to do them. If you want to take a walk through or try to pick it up and play it, I highly recommend going through it because it's really fun. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Um, let me know what kind of games you want me to do. Uh, take care. And they're all dead.